Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger for the Sony PlayStation. Now this is one of those games that was selected in the 2020 Christmas special because there was no other way I was going to be playing this game without it. I never even knew this game existed! So anyway, it's it seems like a 3D platformer with a bit of fighting involved, and I didn't press the X button fast enough to go to the demo. And I had to wait for the demo to load even though I'm going to skip it a second later, so this is a great start to the video. <laughs> so I did get to play like maybe a couple stages of it, which is roughly a half hour's worth. So it's not really a fighting game, more like kind of with beat em up, beat -em -up elements with a bit of platforming mixed in. And I will say, like, the game is kinda average. I did look up how it reviewed on Wikipedia. Like, maybe on average, like, say, 68 out of 100, so a C, or a D, or B. So, middle of the pack. Not exactly a great game, but not a terrible one. But, who knows? Maybe I'll have a better experience with it, or worse. Let's get started, shall we? Find him, and see that not a scrap of fur remains. Don't be so hasty. He'd make one heck of a nice rug. Stop! This temple is sacred! You cannot just enter and defile it at your will! Moping? I was told a tiger had been raised amongst your pointless order of cowards. We don't appreciate, like, uh, mixed races in a temple. Hey, it seems I've been misinformed. You are less than nothing. <laughs> Pathetic. That ends that. Finish up, guards. With pleasure. Later that day... Ty, you must go. But what brought them here? Why should I be any more important than anyone else? Look at our poor fish. Yesterday they were plentiful and prosperous, and today, well, not so. You too are all that remains of your clan. Time can greatly alter one's prosperity. Look what time spent caring for me has brought you in the temple. All necessary sacrifices. Stop dwelling on that which you cannot change. If you stay, they will be back. Visit the Tiger Temple ruins at the edge of the bamboo forest on top of the Great Hill. It is only there you will begin to find the answers you seek. All right, Brother Ping. I will do as you said. Good luck, Tai. And keep mind of your Kung Fu skills and training. And see a respiratory therapist, because you're breathing way too hard. <laughs> also, what is up with that neck? <laughs> that is some terrible posture. Hey, look at me. I do non-stop gaming for like hours on end. And this is how my neck goes. <laughs> Alright, so you move around with the D-pad. I think you can turn on the analog stick and the options as well. So X is jump. Square is punch. Circle is to grab to execute a throw. Triangle is block. R1 is to crouch and sneak, I guess. R2 is to taunt. L2 is just to see, like, your items and stuff. And L1 currently does nothing. But I might have a use later. Select does nothing as well. I checked. These jades, if you collect a good amount of them, you'll get an extra life. And you'll also get an extra life for killing X amount of enemies, too. Press square to strike. Press X to leap. Press R1 to crouch. Press triangle to block. Press circle to grab your enemy. Press circle again to throw your enemy. To unleash a furious combo, attack your opponents by pressing square three times, followed by a triangle. 
All right, so you just get your controls from that guy. Unfortunately, no subtitles. I looked in the options, there's no way to enable them, because they do not exist. So if you pick up a gold coin at the end of the stage, you're done. You know, pretty short level, it's just with tutorial to say, Alright, you're on your way now, leave us alone. <laughs> you're kind of bringing too much attention to us. Alright, there you go. Alright, we'll save. I did play a little bit last night, but I didn't save at all because it was just for practice and stuff. Card full, no blocks available. Alright, let me go card two then. We'll do that. It exists, right? Yeah, okay, there we go, it works. Only 3% of the game! <laughs> well, we only just started, so... Can't be surprised by that. Alright, so we're going to Bamboo Forest. And unfortunately, I can't, you know, go back. Oh wait, I can go to options here. So you can do that in the map. Yeah, that's where you can see your controls, change the difficulty and all that stuff. I'll keep it on normal. But yeah, you can't just go back to Panda Temple if you want to. Yet, I don't know. I don't know if you can like have control as to going back to previous levels later. I'm just gonna assume that you kinda don't need to. So, let's just go and get on with it. Press triangle to finish off combos. Yeah, I know, the guy already told me. So, triangle can be your combo finisher, and triangle is also block. Wow, this is a pretty violent game. I guess you can see, like, either sweat or blood come off the cobras. That, I believe, gives you invincibility? I'm not sure. And it lasts for only a few seconds. So yeah, if you do press triangle after your combo, you're unleashing a shockwave. And that shockwave can do a nice bit of crowd control. So I don't know if there's any unlockables in the game. I'm just gonna assume it's pretty par for the course. Just go through the level, finish it, you're good to go. So it's one of those rare, like, 3D platformers that you know, don't have to worry about doing much in the game. At least you see that- whoa! Okay, so I guess I was supposed to crouch and duck at the same time for the tail whip. Or just jump. That would have worked too. That's one way to deal with them. Usually try to go for the grab if they're not looking at you. And then you can be pretty sly about it. I guess you can also just throw them off the bridge or just let them do that. That also works. I'm not really going to be looking everywhere in the stage. Just, just go do my own thing. You just like walk right off. What a loser. Hey, can you get a little closer, please? Or, you know, you'll just off yourself again. <laughs> like your cousin. Once bitten, twice shy. <laughs> Thrice a loser. That doesn't make any sense, but sure. <laughs> At least they use the same attack pattern every time. And you will be credited for a kill, even if you throw him off a pit. Oh, nice, you can just dunk them if you jump and then throw. The drop kick looks a little weird, but it works. Just hit square in midair and stuff, that's really how it works. Oh, hello. I think that's an extra life, if I'm not mistaken. 
Anything that looks like it has the uh, Typhoon Medallion and stuff. That's what you call a basket case! Those uh, gates over there are just our checkpoints. Really, the advantage of a throw is not only to throw them off a pit, but you can throw them into other enemies, and then you're doing extra damage. Sometimes the enemies just get pushed around. It feels a bit weird. Oh my god, <laughs> I actually went to the spike pit. That's hilarious. I like it with the, uh, uh, <laughs> like, what are you trying to do? What is that all about? What's up the random sound effects? I didn't mean to do that to the other basket, but okay. Whatever. I think I'm supposed to go this way? Yes. Give me. Oh! Almost did that horribly timed. Yeah, I don't know if the uh, spikes really affect the enemies. Okay, maybe they do, because I got a kill for that. Alright, let's dance. I gotta have to kill three enemies just to get the coin. Wait, I can't go up there? Oh. I guess that's only just for the snakes to spawn, and that's it. Pretty short levels, though, so it's not gonna be a long game. So I say I can get away with doing, like, more than one stage per video. Yeah, yeah, I know card one is full. Can we just go to card two? Eh, maybe I shouldn't save after every level. Because then it would just drag. That one stage was 6% of the game. <laughs> Alright, Bamboo Hill. Next stage. So we gotta get to what? A, a tiger shrine, I think it is? What I was told? Why can't we just go straight forward? I'm a tiger. And I wear pants. I should be capable of anything. Use an attack to jump or bounce farther. Okay, do I really need to bounce farther? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I don't think I was... Ducking in the right direction. Oh. These guys don't mess around. They look like lizards. They're just punching at you. That's not a good time. At all. So, they're clearly tougher than just regular snakes. Defeat three to advance. Yeah, they tend to get to jump on you. I don't like that. Okay, so the headbutt won't break your guard. That's kind of pointless then. Hey, you're not supposed to block. That is a privilege preserved only for me. Alright, well... Gotta get used to those enemies. Because sometimes blocking does not always work throughout the whole combo. Unless you're dealing with a snake. And then you pretty much have to duck. Okay, so far so good. Oh, hello. Ha, <laughs> nice, I knocked it down. Sirs, you're right. And now it looks like I'm invisible for a few seconds. Which is useless because there was no enemies nearby. 
It was pointless. And so was that. There's no dash in this, by the way, as far as I know. Oh, nice, I do it doing Zangief twirls. Oh, might as well go get that. Is it just me or is this guy bigger? Probably not. Oh, there's a nice little bridge. Yeah! Stop hitting yourself! There's nobody here, what are you talking about? It's just you, huh? How's it feel to get bitch slapped by a ghost? I don't think that basket phased it. Oh well, that, that drop kick did not help because I got knocked down again. Right, so let's try this again. Whoa, that's a nice bit of reach. The bounce pad is actually messing up my combo. Because I'm going up in the air, but I don't get to hit circle. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I'm just gonna have to flank this guy. So I gotta defeat four of them. Can't jump over them with their fists, so. See if I can grab it. Nope, I think it's too big. Okay, so their movement's kind of track. That could be a bit rough to go against. Look at that pose. <laughs> I put over there. Alright, we did it. Got through what? Three stages? If you count the first one as a stage. Not bad if I say so myself. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll be gotta. It gotta go to card one every time. And look at that, we already got through 15% of the game. Another 85 to go. <laughs> Tiger Ruins. Eh, we'll probably do one more stage and then we'll call it an episode. Depending on how fast this one goes. But so far, every level has been less than 10 minutes. Which I greatly appreciate. It doesn't have to be a very long video, just enough to get some content out of it. Avoid the club and strike when Crusher is vulnerable. Hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I always avoid the club. Oh! Oh, there's a boss! Okay, uh, how, how do I know when it's vulnerable, though? What? Wait, what? Oh, it's blocking. Oh my god, I can just do this? Feels like my combos are going a little bit longer than I thought. This is a little ridiculous! Once it starts blocking, it just... Stop attacking, and then you can attack again! Who insulted me? I, d I want answers. Alright, where are you? Most impressive young tiger, the Crusher Python was a formidable opponent, but your skills, though rough, serve you well. Who are you? You may call me Master Typhoon, 
Do you know my name? Do you know what this place is? The abandoned Tiger Temple ruins. Fallen, but not abandoned. Long ago, a great battle was swaged here during the last days of the siege. Blood of the noble White Tiger Clan stains these very stones. And now they're all gone? Long gone. But their spirits are all around you. Each of us has an inner spirit, an energy, fed by the world around us. It is called Chi. Witness time. Ah. Huh? Nasty move. How'd you do that? The blue bar I've added to the top of your screen will grow as your chi does. Summon your energy, make it yours. Concentrate, focus. Now press L1 to fire. Cool. Well done, but there is much more to learn. Listen carefully. You will head into the jungle and meet with your cousins, the Leopard Clan. Inside their fortress, you will earn an audience with their master. He will instruct you in the feline ways of your kind. Leopard clan, huh? Well, they'll never guess who's coming to dinner. I just leave you as you have a monologue with yourself because I'm done listening to you. <laughs> Alright, time for me to have sex with my wife and then get beheaded for it. All right, so I actually have a uh, chi meter now. Ah, well, that was easy. Might as well get some jades while I'm at it. I think that's all I really need to do. So yeah, look at that blue meter. It's pretty much the size of my health. I'm guessing those blue orbs will refill your chi if it runs low. So now I actually have more weapons at my disposal. Alright, pretty good job if I say so myself. Let's save it up, because we're heading on to the next area. So we gotta find the Leopard Clan. Hopefully they won't be too hard to find. Hope they're in a good spot. Laugh! Anyway, let's stop here and the next part we go to Leopard Jungle. See you later everyone, thanks for watching.